show tonight. It's a great show. we got lots of special guests. Oh, first of which is uh, quite uh, the actor and entertainer, let me tell you. He's won, uh, well, he's been nominated for multiple Academy Awards. He hasn't won anything at all, ever in his life. But he's pretty great. He knows how to act. He knows how to swing it. He knows what's going down. And uh, he's the director of famous films, uh, Flower Blossom, Phil <laughs> First Person C, and Lesbos Sister Slush. Let's hear it for actor, director, Bob Springs. <laughs> Now this is great, this is great. Now we haven't seen a director here in quite a while, as you can see. You know, we good ones at least. That's correct, that's correct. I forget we had him in the last week. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, important. Not really important. But he seems to be uh, popular with the fans, huh? Yeah. Well, my fans are very devoted to me, yes. I have quite a following. <laughs> following? <laughs> you got more than that, sir, let me tell you. They basically wrote a Bible after this guy. Oh, please, please. Well, I did, and it's recorded, and it's done. Well, uh, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you, and uh, if, uh, you know, everything works out right, well, who knows. Well, uh, the first question on this list of questions I have here that I'm about to get to, the first one really intrigues me. This question is unlike the other questions. This is quite a magnificent question. I'm about to say the question pretty soon. I'll tell you what the question is right now. Well, the question Kill. seems to be at the moment. Kill. <laughs> Jim, Jim, stop that. I know it doesn't say that on that cue cards. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, the first question seems to be on my mind for quite a while. Do you have any regrets about the, uh, the movie industry and the movie business? Have you, uh... I feel that the movie industry is making certain films for certain people, and certain things are certain. Mm -hmm. See, everybody knows that <clears throat> if something's for certain, it's for certain. That's true. Now, this guy sounds pretty certain, doesn't he? That's a certainty, let me tell you. Well, uh, we got some other questions here. Uh, the second of which has to do with the, the new movie coming out. It's called uh, Resident <laughs> Bankruptcy. <laughs> yes, that is a highly anticipated new blockbuster that gold, is going to be... Gold. Anticipation. It's going to be platinum, actually. That's the correct uh, word, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. To say, to say the least, it, it's going to go platinum, and my critics uh -huh. have told me that... Well, I mean, isn't that kind of illegal right now? No, 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 no,
You did great. Anyway, uh, sound for sure. You will not uh, do that, ghost! They don't call me Rusty for nothing, do they? Uh, our second guest, uh, pleased to meet him, give him a nice warm welcome. This is military leader and enforcer general, Gung Ho Gung Passive. I understand you uh, travel here from uh, across the ocean. Is that is that rough this time of year? Extremely rough. Where, uh, where was it that you were over in the ocean there? In the jungle. <laughs> yes. Wait a second, wait a second. Let me do the interview here. <coughs> Mr. Hollywood Hogan. Anyway, uh, so uh, what's the seas uh, like this time of year? A lot of toxins. <laughs> a lot of toxins, a lot, a lot of, toxins. of toxins. I bet, I bet. The I fish are overwhelming. The fish. Lots of numbers. They Big drag schools. you down. Schools. They drag you down. <laughs> oh. Wow. How about uh, Antarctica? Uh, you've traveled there recently. I've been there, yes. Have you done that? 70 times this year. 70 times this year? Wow, that's got to be You just set a record in so. yeah, I don't want to push buttons. So that's, why I that's that's no, that's what I like to hear. About. That's what I like to hear. We got one one pit, two one patron out there. That's great. That's great. America's a fine country. So uh, how about Sir, the? Uh, I salute you. And uh, was that salute to your great great uncle uh, William Scott Saxon? Can I can I interject here? Why why do why do military men salute? See, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. I know. I know this because my grandfather was in the military. Oh yeah, and what he did he do? He was a great man. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He told me a story once. I'll tell it to you. Oh, we'd love to hear this, wouldn't we, Craig? Yeah. Now, a short while ago, my grandfather said to me. He sat me down. This was when I was a small little boy, about five or six, I think, seven maybe. Maybe four. We'll say five. <laughs> Maybe we'll eight at that. <laughs> right, so I'm five years old. My grandpa sits me down and he says, Ryan, I've been through the jungle. And I said, Grandpa, my name isn't Ryan. And he said, I don't know what your name is anymore. And then I realized at that point my grandfather had lost his memory. And you know what I learned from that lesson? Nothing. Aww. Nothing. After all that, you learned nothing. I did learn, though. I think this man is quite modest. Quite modest. Nothing. Trust in your government to make the right decision. Always. Yeah. Now I don't want to get off topic. I don't want to get off. Topic. I'm out there. You're out there. All I'm night. out there day and night. Sir. Oh, it's time for switch up. Chance to interview the interviewees now. Proceed. Has anyone ever here done military service? No, but I knew someone who once did. He was a real clown hopper. <laughs> Shouldn't you be interviewing us? Wait, wait, what's going on here? Oh, this is switch up time. Oh, switch up time. Switch up time, yeah, we act like a bunch of Ukrainians <laughs> and see what we come up with. He asks me the questions. Maybe you can ask us the questions. Is that a great idea? Is that a great idea? That was speaking from the laboratory downstairs. You came up with that idea. Great, marvelous kid, marvelous kid. A little, eh, little fruity. But he's a good kid. He's a good kid. Now, start interviewing. Or I'm gonna bust some caps. Just joking. That's my military talk. My great uncle told me that. Military all the way, sir. <laughs> Sir, I don't even own a gun. You know, I don't even know what a gun is. A gun sort of looks like this. You hold it, you clean it, you wash it, you scrub it, and you rinse it. 
You oil it down. Get the springs all right. Sounds like he loves his guns a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you said it. You said it. You hey man, you're it. the one with the obsession about perfection. Perfection is needed, my friend. Yeah, yes. sure it is, man. Sure I protect is. you guys. You this is, and you this is. <laughs> that is, I, I will admit that you have a good point there, and it's very true. And we should I all just can't honor believe it. you. All right, I would hate to, I would hate to interrupt this uh, switch up session here, but I've got a few more questions I, I must get through before we end the show. And now the first question uh, is for you. Now, being an actor and a director, is it hard to star in your own movies, or does it cost oh. a lot of? Uh, oh, Rusty. I, I can't tell you how many times... Let's call me Russ, call me Russ. Listen, Mr. Rafters, can yes. I call you that? No, that's... Can I call you Russ? Mr. Rafters. Mr. Anyway, Mr. Rafters, the whole business of, of making a movie and, and, you know, doing uh, all the things that go with that, yeah. it's, it's, it's a... Uh, does, it get, does it get, like, does it get really hectic? It's, 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 it's an arduous... Arduously long project, and uh, I can imagine. I can imagine. I mean, the manpower, the sheer manpower that goes into it is mind-boggling. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and the scale is just is 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 off the Richter scale. My my kids are interested in that. The Richter you know scale, that? huh? No, in the uh, in the development of you know producing and directing oh, movies. Oh, well, I I tell them. To so, it's really? Now you know where I got to bleep that. Have you ever seen uh, the yeah. war movies? Yeah, they're good. You know, he actually directed Great. a war movie two years ago. Should I? It was a very controversial film. He'll tell you about it. Uh, <laughs> didn't quite get that good of credit ratings as I would have liked to hope, but I'm convinced that my future endeavors will, uh, you know, Wait. make up for anything I've done in the past. Maybe. You made that movie? No, no, my, my evil twin brother did. <laughs> that movie. Well, which movie was that? Which one was that? The film with uh, that was Kevin the one. Manpower yes, yes, Arms yes. Three. Manpower Arms Three. You know, a lot of people got confused with that title because they never actually came out with the first or the second one. <laughs> yes, yes, that is. You roll, Rusty. But you roll. There is an explanation to that. It, 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 because of the fact that we honestly. That's just, wonderful. That is absolutely great. That is marvelous. But I have to introduce another guest, and I'm, unfortunately I'm going to have to uh, boot the two of you out of here for about a minute or so. We can get back, we can have some coffee, share some It's been a pleasure, Rusty. Hey, you know, it's been great. Anytime. Too. I'll come back. Uh, Lance. General. Jones. Before we left, thanks Frank, before we left I had to, uh, you know, let you see a few commercials, some of our sponsors, that's what we get paid for anyway, and uh, we'd like to leave with the last guest, musical guest, special musical guest, over here, DJ in the mix, himself <laughs> DJ in the mix! Well, this show is sponsored part by Easy Wax. If you can't stroke it, you can't wax it. It's Easy Wax. And by Deli Groceries. Get groceries. Deli Groceries. Is it over? Am I talking like... Yeah, what's up?